Dear devotee, today I am going to preach about how to refuge the novel triple gems in the most appropriate way and the most helpful way to increase our transcendental wisdom up to great achievements like stream entry. And I am trying to focus this sermon to the Nibbana, to the Enlightenment, what you can concentrate, what you can attain in this very moment, then I would like to say, please pay your close attention to this sermon and concentrate what I am saying and you must watch, you must inside this while you are listening. So I will preach. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa so, we all people, as the Buddhists, we all say, we are saying, Buddhang Saranam Kachami, I refuge the Lord Buddha. Then I would like to ask, when we refuge the Lord Buddha, are we refuge his body with 32 noble signs? Please think for a moment. Actually, his body had died when he passed away. Then I would like to ask, are we refuge his transcendental unique wisdom? Isn't it? These those transcendental unique wisdom knowledges had grown when he passed away, when he faced to Mahaparanibbana. Like the Mahakaruna Samapati Jnana, Indriya Paripa Pariyate Jnana, uh, Yamaka Patihari Jnana, uh, Sabhangyuta Jnana, and so on. Those old transcendental unique wisdoms had grown when he faced into the Mahaparanibbana, when he passed away. Then what we refuge as the Lord Buddha? Please think for a moment. If not, I'd like to ask, do you refuge the Lord Buddha's noble qualities like Arahan Samma Sambuddho Vijja Charana Sampanna Sugato Lokavidu Anuttaru Purisa Dhamma Sarathi Sattha Deva Anusana Buddho Bhagavad Adhus If you think about the Lord Buddha had totally free from the last hatred delusion and we call him as Arahan. Please think for a moment. When you think about like this, think like this, actually those old qualities are go had gone uh, when he died. Then what is really going on when you think about his qualities? Lord Buddha is Arahan. When you think about it, actually some perceptions arising and passing away in your mind in this very moment. That is the noble truth. That is the absolute truth. So try to understand and try to concentrate and try to pay close attention what I'm going to say. Then if, one, if someone can tell I'm Dhammam Saranangachami, I refuse the noble Dhamma. Then I'd like to ask, do you refuse the Dhamma books? Are those books are written, also written down? In a normal, normal, normal paper, and they and they type in a normal ink. What is the difference? Really, the dhamma also is just a perceptions. What are what arising and passing away in our mind when we talking or thinking about it? That is the. Absolute correct and the and the absolute and correct uh, truth 
of the refuge of Dhamma. I'm not going to uh, decrease your faithfulness in the Dhamma, but I'm trying to say you what is the reality, because your foundation is the faithful, the Sadha, but after that we are going to the noble and the transcendental wisdom by inciting the reality of your body and mind and the world. So, now I would like to ask if you refute the Sangha like Sanghaṁ Saranaṁ Gacchāma. Do you refute the hair of Sangha, the bones of Sangha, the skin of Sangha? Do you can uh, say, I refuge the body of Sangha, the nails of Sangha, or the urine of feces of Sangha? You cannot. Because if you think for a moment, if someone uh, loves his hair, he washes it uh, and comb it. So, when he cut off his hair or her hair, this hair do not tell, uh, I am yours, yours mine, and uh, I, am, I, am, I am male, I am female. The hair cannot say likewise. The, the cutted hair also cannot say, the hair is in, on your head also cannot say, I am yours, yours, mine. That is the truth. And, and you, when you cut your nails, the nails cannot say, I am yours, yours, mine, uh, I am his nails, and I am male nail, I am a female nail. Likewise, nails cannot say, the same as the cutted nails, uh, same as the nails on your fingers. So, please try to comprehend what I'm going to say. Then, if I, as a monk, if I, uh, if I lost my concentration, if I lost my uh, mindfulness, and I'm faint down here, uh, to whom you can say, uh, as the Sangha, as the monk, as the bhikkhu. You can say this is a monk, this is uh, virtuous and good in the moral behavior, and he is a fo foolish man, or likewise you can tell. But uh, those all things are perceptions, what are rising and passing away in this very moment in your mind, in this moment. So, those all things in your mind, these all sensations, perceptions, the preparations in the mind, and the consciousnesses, all are arising and passing away in this very moment, very fastly. So, in this truth, when we think about things like this, if I, if I died, if I faint, uh, faint down without reburn, without reburning in another life, I cannot see any, uh, any visuals, I cannot hear any sound, I cannot smell anything, I cannot uh, think about any ideas or matters. So these all things in our mind, in 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 one in, in a time, this mind ceases, the world going to cease. In that case, I can interpret, according to the dependent origination, the consciousness, the mind is a cause to suffering. A mind. The cessation, the cessation of suffering, I can interpret it as the cessation of mind is the cessation of suffering. Because we cling the whole world by clinging the mind, by fool for the mind. So, 
my dear devotees, when we now you want to understand, you want want to understand how we fall to this mind, to this consciousness. I would like to say a simple uh, comparison, or uh, no, it's an example. Uh, the the wise people will understand uh, what I'm saying and what is this hint I'm going to say. If you listen to my sound, actually what is uh, what is going under this? The addition, the addition of the ear, your, your ear and my sound. Then arise a ill consciousness, it's just ill consciousness. Your, your experience is just an ill consciousness, just a consciousness. So, but you have a delusion, but you conceive an independent ear and sound, it, what existing without my ear consciousness. You have a delusion about it. You make, as the work of this ear consciousness, it makes you a duality about the independent ex existing world and me, independent existing the ear and sound, independent existing uh, visuals and I. But really, you have just a consciousness Ear consciousness, uh, eye consciousness, mind consciousness, and so on. Really, this there is existing a mechanism in our body, in our in our life, in our existence. Without knowing this, because uh, Lord Buddha uh, do not give the answers for the um, for the. Uh, questions like is world existing isn't world existing like that because why our problem is in the suffering the suffering arising in this very moment in a consciousness the suffering ceasing in this moment in a consciousness so we have to pay our, pay our attention to this consciousness the mechanism of our existence so, dear devotees, you want to know that really the delusion creates in our mind. So, if you comprehend these things correctly, you can discard all things from from your mind. You can wish. You can determine. Please go out from my mind. These all things. And one by one. Now do it, not after. Now do it when you, while you're listening to my sermon. Now step by step, the visuals, yeah, the visuals, all visuals, what you like to see, those are not mine. Those I cannot control them. Please go out of me. Please discard them. And the. And these sounds, what you like or dislike, please go out of me and please discard from me. And the go to smells, please go out from, from me. Those are not mine. I can't control them. And the tastes, please go out of me. Please discard them. I cannot control them. And the tangibles of the body. Please get out of me, this card from me, I don't want you like that way. And go to the thoughts of your mind, please this card from me, get out from me, those are not mine, I cannot control yours. Please go out of me, please leave me alone. Now. You can think about think about the movement about your body. I think this body is mine. 
this is I am, this is my soul. But this is, it is a delusion. I have to live from this. I cannot control this body. I am being more beautiful. Don't I am being decayed. Don't I am being get age, get old. I cannot control it. I have to live from this body. So now determine. I. I. I discard this body in this moment from my mind. I don't want this. When you do like this, you are, now you have only sensations, perceptions, intentions, intentions mean preparations of the mind and the consciousness. Now you have a simple consciousness, what arising and passing away in each second. They are conscious here. If you are a person who has increased his concentration and the wisdom, now he cannot see his body by his mind. So again, please pay attention to the to the con, to the consciousness what arising and passing away in this very moment. Now I am asking for you. The three minutes ago, the ex the existence, the consciousness, is stay now. The three minutes ago existence or another one is existing now or a future consciousness is existing now. No, it's wrong. This consciousness is not the same. In the each second it is changing. Now you have to pay your close attention and try to comprehend this consciousness is changing, arising and passing away in this very moment, in these each seconds. Now again you can incite the consciousness arising and passing away and the mind and the another consciousness what you incite it as changing. Now two consciousnesses are changing the normal consciousness and the consciousness what you look at that consciousness the mind that you look at the change change of consciousness now the double double the each double arising and passing away in this moment when you inside this thing for some minutes for some seconds your mind Becoming to the emptiness. Now if you come to the emptiness, now you can comprehend. This emptiness is not permanent. In a simple time, in a small time, it, can, it might be changed, it might be seized from me. So, this emptiness is impermanent. This emptiness, empty, emptiness is not my soul. If it's changing, it cannot be my soul. So, the Nibbana without this emptiness is more excellent, more peaceful. Now you can pay your attention to the enlightenment, to the Nibbana Dhatu. If you feel this moment, might be you able, might be you attain to this dream entry. If you not, I'll preach you another way. If you do not uh, come into the emptiness, then try. If you see your body and you cannot, your mind cannot see your body by the mind. Now you can think. 
in the whole life in this in the simple consciousness i think it is i am it is mine this is my soul this is the being this is the human likewise now when this consciousness ceases ceases the my mind and my soul the being the old things goes to cease this old delusion goes to cease when this consciousness go, going to cease if you inside this correctly again your mind come into the emptiness if you come into the emptiness again you can insight and you can comprehend this emptiness also impermanent and it i cannot control so it is not my soul the nibbana is more peaceful rather excellent than this without without this preparation the nibbana is most peaceful most excellent etam santam etam panitam yadidam sabba sankara samatho sabhupati patini sagho tan hakhayo virago nirodho nibbana this is peaceful this is excellent namely the stilling of all preparations the relinquishment of all assets the destruction of craving detachment cessation extinction all right dear devotees if you do not want to be sad if you cannot comprehend this very well but i wish you you may all attain nibbana as soon as possible before extinguish this lord buddha's dispensation actually really this this listening of the dhamma surely uh, helps you to attain nibbana as soon as possible and i am going to stop at for the moment and bless you you may all be healthy happy and have a peaceful long life with the blessing of noble triple gems thank you